I'll show you some examples of how you might use the recolor adjustment in Affinity Photo. I can add the adjustment by going to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Recolor. As the dialog demonstrates, this adjustment uses the Hue Saturation Lightness Color Model to completely recolor an image in a monotone fashion. It defaults to red, but I can quickly use the Hue slider to move through the color range. I might settle on a color somewhere between cyan and blue. I can then control the color intensity using the saturation slider, which I'll bring down to around 33%. Lightness then controls the contribution of white. Moving this slider to the left gradually darkens the result, whereas moving the slider to the right will brighten it. To save time, you can double click on a slider node to reset the parameter to its default position. The recolor adjustment is useful when working with 3D renders. For example, this render was created using Blender, and the main combined render was saved along with some of the individual render passes. One of the compositing passes is called the Mist Pass, which I will show up here in the layer stack. This can be used with a blend mode such as Screen to add atmosphere to the scene. But I can take this a step further by adding a recolor adjustment, then clipping it inside the mist layer by click dragging the recolor adjustment layer and offering it over the text of the mist layer, then letting go of the mouse button. Now, if I reduce the saturation, I can move through the color range by using the hue slider to see how colorizing the mist layer affects the composition. I could also try reducing the lightness, which is able to control the overall contribution of the mist. It's important to note that this workflow is completely non-destructive, so I can hide the mist layer to see the before, then show it again to see the after. The adjustment can also be used to add color to monotone detail such as floor plans. Here I've got a document imported from a PDF with its vector content intact, and I may want to quickly recolor the black line detail and text. I can add a recolor adjustment. Then it's just a case of bringing up the lightness. Now I can shift the hue to a blue color perhaps, and reduce the saturation as well. It's also worth experimenting with blend modes when using this adjustment. Here is a quick example. I'll add a recolor adjustment to this composition. I'll change the hue slider to a deep blue tone. Then I'll reduce the saturation to about halfway. And I can now try some different blend modes. Soft light, for example. And with this blend mode, I can use the saturation slider to control the amount of color tinting. Alternatively, I might try something like Color Burn. This effect looks too extreme, but I can reduce the opacity. And at low values, it appears to increase contrast and create some depth between the dark and bright areas. And once again, because this adjustment is non-destructive, I can hide the recolor adjustment to see the before, then show it again to see the after. Anyway. That was a look at some of the uses for the recolor adjustment. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.